Bumblebee's a car that got me through some very hard times. And unfortunately, I let the registration slip. This is the story of the comeback. I've only got one goal with this build, to throw as much dirt as possible, as loud as hell. For that, I'm gonna put the biggest engine in the smallest car that I can register. Welcome back to the channel, Hilux fans. Well, on the last episode, we got the new old Hilux into the driveway, and on this episode, on this episode, we're gonna uh, take these panels off and explore what the rust is like down here. As you can see on this side, the outside's rusty, but what's what's the inside like? And you know, just here, this actually seems pretty good. And up in here, all the way to the back on the corners, it's not rusty. On that side, no problem. Up there on the firewall either. Um, but there is significant rust here. So we're gonna take this off, this panel off, and just see where that rust goes back. And also, I've never done anything like this before. I've got no idea how much is too much. My plan is just to get it exposed. And then I do know a retired panel beater. I'm gonna call, get him around um, to have a look at it and, and tell me if it's a bin job or if it's workable. Oh, I can't get the screwdriver onto these screws because of this bull bar. So I'm gonna remove this bull bar to start with. All right, so we got a bit of a, bit of a buddy stuck bolt here. I find the best thing to do is heat them up and then hit them with water. And when it changes temperature real quick, it, it usually gets them off. Just, I don't know, it works better than just heat. I'm not an expert, but this is what I do. Man, you bastard. All right, so a bit of heat and then. We got it. It's moving. Whoo! Hot. Ouch. Oh, take the bull bar off. It'll be fun, they said. Well, it's not fun because here's the chassis rail. And see how this got the nut on the back out here and it's exposed? Well, in here, there is a nut in this where you can't put a spanner on the top. There's a nut and it's obviously the weld's broken. So it just spins. There's no way to get that bastard out. I figure I've got to use this. Well, as you can see, as you can see, the bull bar is still attached because the cordless drill overheated, the uh, cordless grinder overheated, and look at this guy up in here, that guy right there in the middle. The nut on top of that spinning as well, and there's no way I'm getting the grinder in there. So what I'm thinking is I have to get the cutting disc out and cut the bull bar off here for now. Took the bolts out of this side. This is gonna be a nightmare to put back in. We'll never line these holes up again. I was debating whether to use that side or not, but I figure the problem's just about the same. Then it's starting to move. 
but I think I've got to take that off. Okay, we're just still trying to get these panels off. Got to take the old grill off. Oh, look at that. Look at that logo. So different to what Toyota ended up with. Okay. Oh my God. There has to be, there has to be a bolt here. All right, guys, we got that front bumper off. We can't get this light off because the this is actually bent up a little bit and there's a screw in there that you have to take off before you can take off the bolt that's in here. I'll just show you it. There's this bolt here, just there. And then we can get them those panels off. But to get this bull bar off, it's ridiculous. There's there's a bolt. It's in there, mate. It's bloody in there. You just believe me. And it's making my life hell. Absolute hell. <laughs> but that, that looks better. That's looking better already. It's looking damn fine. What we have to do, what we have to do is get that line. See that? See, this is the best part of the car. Not this part. That part's mediocre. Still good. Still good, but... Here it is. Oh, yeah, boy. Look at this line. 80s, 70s, bloody. Bang. Transform already. Transform, Bubble B. Right? And then you come over here and you're like, where's that awesome line? And you got, oh, this, this stupid idiot here. All right, all right. It's another day. I've got this bull bar off. I've taken off this bad guy. And now the final couple of bad guys. There's one down here in the rust sector. And that's off, so that's it. Whoa, welcome back to the channel, Hilux fans. Holy smokes. If you're tuning in from America, I'm in Perth, Western Australia, and today it's a mild 39 degrees Celsius. Work that out in Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's bloody hot. So, we are making, making progress anyways. Check this out. I got these quarter panels off and um, it's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad at all. There's this spot just here that has a little bit of a rust hole, but here, it's actually, it's not too bad. I don't think that's too bad. And on the other side, That's mostly good. See the sill down here? It's all pretty sweet and it's just got a little bit of rust there. So, you know, I'm pressing on, I'm pressing on. I'm starting to strip down everything in the engine bay and, uh, you know, the, the worst piece of rust is really this and this dent in the roof. So this, this week I'm going to, um, speak to a retired panel beater I know, get him to have a look and tell me if there's a way to fix that roof. Hopefully there is because, you know, I'm jumping into it and I'm pulling everything, pulling everything down. This 18R has a snapped timing chain, I believe. I'm just gonna pull the motor and um, throw it out, basically. I don't think uh, there's any value. If somebody wants it, give me a shout. Everything else like this, um, it's just going in the bin. Already thrown this in the bin. This is my rubbish pile so far. It's coming along, coming along. And go. Welcome back to the channel, Hilux fans. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit munted. I've been standing out here in the sun oh, <laughs> all day and we've made some good progress. This side, the loom is now fed back through there. Everything else that was there is out. On this side over here, I'll just show you what I've been doing. I've labeled these, because unless you know the car intimately very well, um, it's a good idea to label everything because it'll just make it easier when you're putting it back together and I'm up to breaking clutch lines this is the clutch line here and I'm not very good at doing these I tell you to be honest I always strip them they're just a 10 mil and it feels like really they're a 9 mil I don't know what's going on there but you know guess what <laughs> I've stripped that one so it's been pretty bloody hot today but we've made some good progress I'm pretty happy with it 
And until the next one, Hilux fans, keep it upright. And if you do roll it, LS swap the next one you get. See ya.